I would like to know what you do. I am a vet, I'm an exotic specialist, but I also deal with cats and dogs. How long have you been a vet? So I've been a vet just over a year now, and it's the best decision I've ever made. What's the most common animal that you get? Because I deal with dogs and cats, I see a lot of dogs and cats. But if I was talking about birds, we see a lot of chickens here. Because yeah. people have chickens as pets, I know also deal with a lot of tortoises, a lot of turtles, and we even see guinea pigs and rabbits. What's the fluffiest animal you've ever dealt with? A rabbit. <laughs> and a rabbit. And there's a certain breed, like an angora rabbit, and they are just a bubble of fluff. But they're really, really cute. Has there been a really, really overweight animal you've ever dealt with? Yes. All the time. If there is an animal, we've seen the overweight version of it. And it's always quite cute, but it's important that we try and keep animals generally within a certain weight. So Dorothy, I have a bit of a special guest for you. This is my bearded dragon, Minerva. <laughs> but I call her Minnie for short. You can give her a stroke. Is she usually wriggly? It depends if I wake her up. Because she sleeps a lot, she is the laziest lizard on the planet, I promise you. Do you have to feed her food alive? We can do, and she prefers it that way. Yeah. That's what they're used to in the, in the wild. So you imagine you're from Australia and you're a lizard, and I think it's part of their world, their DNA, yeah. that they actually want to chase things that they're used to chasing in the wild. Even though she is super lazy, she still likes to have some of the things that remind her of the wild. What skills do you use in your job? One of the main things that a lot of people don't know is that we have to communicate. Everything is about communication and education and understanding. Every 10 or 15 minutes, we have someone come in and there's a huge amount of information that we have to try and work out. It's like detective work, okay? Yeah. So it's like Sherlock Holmes, yeah. but with an animal. And you know animals can't speak, yeah. so it's my job to speak for them. Yeah. What do you really love about your job? I love everything about my job. I love the animals. I love talking to people like yourself. All of it is enriching for me and it gives me a certain sense of value. And I think it's very important to be passionate about veterinary medicine and animals. Yeah. Because if you want to be here, you have to want it and really work hard for it. Yeah. What age did you start to want to be a vet? Four years old. I think the first time I ever knew I wanted to be a vet, my mom was looking for me and I was too busy hugging a dog. <laughs> and at that point, I knew that this was what I wanted to do. How long does it take to train to be a vet? So, it really depends. If you were gonna go through straight in one direction, it's usually five years at university. Yeah. And sometimes, if you've done a degree before, say biology or zoology, you may only have to do three or four years after that. But remember, you have to do GCSEs and your A-levels and all of the work that's required before that. There's a lot yeah. of work involved. Where else could you work as a vet? So one of the parts that I find really interesting is that vets can work in zoos. The beauty of working in zoos is that the variety that I see here is even more increased. Now, some people don't like zoos, some people do like zoos, but every time there's an animal, there has to be a vet. They can also go into other fields, so for example, politics, and they can be guardians of animal welfare or animal rights. There's a huge amount of potential if you want to do other things as a vet. It doesn't stop you from being able to specialise. I am an exotic specialist, so I deal with the weird things. So there's many different things you can do. Do you have any advice for people who want to become a vet? Yes. Well, number one, work hard. Number two, study, 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 which is kind of like working hard. Yeah. 
but always focus on what you have as a result of your hard work. Yeah. Keep going outside in nature, read books about animals, go to different places, charity farms, ask your local vet. There's so many different opportunities. Yeah. And keep, keep, keep having hobbies. We always want vets to have a whole world that they can bring yeah. to the veterinary practice.